So the cost of living crisis is clearly hitting everybody. What's going on? Well, it's all about this, inflation. And as we know, inflation, after a long period of being comfortably below 2%, has started rising. And as time's gone on, it's risen, it's now 10%, with forecasts like this one from the Bank of England suggesting it could rise into the mid-teens before maybe, hopefully, it falls next year. But we don't even know that it will fall next year. It could be up there in the double digits for many years to come, unless the bank increases interest rates to bring it under control. The challenge for households in the UK is it's not only the absolute inflation number that matters, it's the things we really spend money on, which varies by sector. And so things like housing costs and food and drink, the cost of those has risen even faster. And of course, crucially, energy. Fine, that's the big picture, but let's try to put it in context for a typical household. Meet Faisal and Sarah. Now, Faisal and Sarah are a, a couple, a young couple with kids. They live in the outskirts of Manchester in a semi-detached house. She earns a little bit more than he does, about 55,000 a year of income. He's on 35,000. Crucially, Faisal and Sarah have a mortgage. It's a bit higher than an average mortgage, about £300,000 mortgage, and they took that out when interest rates were low. They have to refinance early next year. Let's see the effect that has on them. Firstly, let's look at where they are today. So right now, Faisal and Sarah, in 2022, this is a typical monthly budget for this family. Their monthly bill on energy, of course, at the start of 2022, before all the inflation hit the energy bills, was about you know, £1,000, £1,200 a year. But look what's happened to their mortgage costs over the last period. And this is before the mini budget was announced. Much higher mortgage costs, much higher energy costs. The effect of the mini budget, energy costs right down because of that energy price cap. But look, as the bank has responded with higher interest rates expected because of the spending, their mortgage costs have increased just as much as their energy costs have decreased. They've robbed Peter to pay Paul.